The UK's uh, traditional political parties are losing supporters to their non-mainstream rivals. The Conservatives have suffered a major blow at the recent by-election in Eastleigh, beaten into third place by the UK Independence Party. They were once described as Prime Minister as Prime Minister David Cameron as a quote bunch of fruitcakes, loonies, and closet races. And quote, RT Sarah Firth looks at the shifting shape of British politics. Britain's political landscape is changing. The stranglehold of the old three-party system appears to be loosening and it's opened the door to some colourful alternatives. With all the polls and percentages and opinions from politicians and pundits, it can be hard to get a clear picture of exactly what's happening in British politics right now. How's that looking? Last week's by-election in Eastleigh saw not three, not four, not five, but 14 different candidates of all shapes, sizes and colours, and all of them willing to take on the mainstream parties. To recast government in Britain, its whole establishment structure, and to turn it from top-down diktat, parading as democracy, to bottom-up genuine democracy, where the larger authorities have to obey the will of the people. Voter disillusionment, it seems, is at an all-time high, something that's backed up by recent polls. And there's certainly a, a bit of a perception that maybe the traditional parties aren't uh, concentrating on some issues, particularly around immigration that we know is a, is a big issue for many members of the general public. Brits can certainly be a hard bunch to please. It used to be that fed up voters would throw their backing behind the Liberal Democrats, but not anymore. The votes we're now getting are votes possibly for us as a party, which is good, but it does mean that the protest vote has had to go somewhere else. And the none of the above party at the moment is UKIP. Many other parties are using the sea change in public opinion as a blank canvas on which to stamp their mark. People often talk about, the, about a protest vote as if that's a bad thing. But let's face it, there's a lot to protest about right now. UKIP beating the Conservatives to second place in Eastleigh last week might have come as a shock to some, but it's not the first time a small party's stolen the show in a by-election. Last year, and the Respect Party had a sensational win when George Galloway won the Bradford seat from Labour. Of course, gaining a bit of media coverage is one thing. Turning that attention into votes in a ballot box and winning seats is quite another, something few of the smaller parties have yet been able to do. But with a general election not so far off, and with some polls putting almost half of the recent support for UKIP as coming from former Conservative voters, well, you can perhaps understand why the Prime Minister's not the picture of happiness right now. Sarah Firth, RT, London.